always had a seat. At this time, I think the uh, Mayor Yannis has a little presentation he'd like to make. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Kennedy. Hi, Terry E. Miller, the mayor of the city of Yannis. The day is the 4th through the 11th, November 2009, as days to reflect, remember, and honor our veterans. In the city of Yannis, encourage all citizens to visit the remarkable exit exhibit to reflect, declare their, their deep and abiding appreciation to those whose names on the wall and to the many men and women who have served our country throughout the history of this great nation for its cause of freedom. I hear uh, to set my hand and cause the seal of this city of Yanis to affix this fourth day of November 2009. Thank y'all very much. I'd like to thank the Fire Department for their support in this. I'd like to thank a couple of teachers and his board, of course, to introduce Trenton, which will be doing a poem, and he's a fifth grader, I believe, right? So Trenton. We'll turn it over to you. Oh, okay, they slipped one in on me. and Everett's going to hit you. I'm Trenton Norris, and this is Everett Elder, and we're reading a poem called Veterans Day by Charlotte Dyson. On Veterans Day, we honor all who answer to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom, brave and bold. Some have lived while others die, and all of them deserve our pride. We're proud of all the soldiers who keep thinking of red, white, and blue. They fought for us and all our rights. They fought through many days and nights. And though we may not know each name, we all think veterans just the same. soldiers sacrificed so much, all for the freedom of our country, leaving their families and heading out to war, not knowing what the future holds, working day and night, determined to stay strong, and watching friends to be killed every day, letters from home inspiring them to keep fighting. So little is given to them, although there is little to do. For those who have died in the world, you can still remember. Remember all the men who have died, who have died. Remember all the battles fought. Remember all the tears families cried. Remember as freedom the soldiers won. souls live on forevermore, above in God's hands, they watch over our nation, and give us strength to triumph over others with strong anticipation. So every year when this day comes by, think of all the veterans that while fighting had to die, and remember that they were people with fire and passion embedded inside. They died for this country, so remember and honor them with pride. I come actually to read uh, some poems uh, from the Bible. Uh, but before I read those, um, I would like to express my immense gratitude for the veterans that we're about to see uh, on that wall that have died for us, and for the veterans that are here today for what they've done for us. I would like to tell them that they should never regret what they've done. They should never regret that they've stood for me, for my students, and for my friends. That they've never been inadequate or inappropriate. And lastly, I would like to thank them with the only thing that I have right now, which is my words. I would like to thank them for the right of free speech, that I can stand up here in front of everybody, in front of the world, in front of the media, in front of my friends and teachers, and say how I feel without fear of censorship or rejection. Because you did not compromise, 
because you stood your ground, you have allowed me to stand before you, an American citizen, a human being, equal to yourself. And for that, I thank you. I'd like to read the first, the 144th Psalm. Praise be to the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my loving God, my fortress, my stronghold, and my deliverer. He is my shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. O oh Lord, what is man that you care for him? What is the son of man that you even think of him? Man is just a breath and his days are like a fleeting shadow. So part your heavens, O Lord, and come down, touch the mountains so that they smoke. Send forth lightning and scatter, and shoot your enemies with arrows and round them about. Reach down your hand from on high, deliver me and rescue me from the mighty waters, from the hands of the foreigners, whose mouths are full of lies and whose right hand holds deceit. I will sing to you a new song of God. On the ten-string lyre, I will make music for you. To the one